guys welcome back to a new vlog i am about to head out the door right now and i just wanted to show you guys my outfit that i am wearing today this top is from free people it's like a little waffle type of print and it's a little baggy so i might kind of like i don't know tuck it in a little like that or something but these pants are from aritzia sunday best i believe obviously not wearing those shoes those are my house slippers i actually just got these they're from amazon i'll link them down below for you guys i got them on sale for ten dollars and they're so so comfy and then for bag i'm just wearing my little coast bag so i would update you guys so i wanted to show you guys these beautiful flowers look how pretty this arrangement is i feel like i've never gone like a more like abstract arrangement before like they have these really pretty like petal looking things and they're kind of like matte. I don't know. It's so, so pretty. And I have this little Ikea vase and it just looks so, so good. And I love all the spring color. So I don't know. I just want to show you guys because it's so pretty. I decided to wear my Panda Dunks just because I feel like they pop more with the pants. And I think they're really, really cute. Hey guys, hopefully this angle is okay but i just got to trader joe's and i wanted to go to trader joe's because i have like a random few things to pick up it's not like a legit grocery run but i have like um itching to make homemade cookies chocolate chip cookies i feel like i made homemade chocolate chip cookies like once back in my old apartment but i feel like i haven't made chocolate chip cookies like homemade in a long long time i don't even remember the last time i I did. I feel like I always just buy like the pre-made ones for chocolate chip cookies because they're just so good. But I don't know why. I just feel like making some homemade ones today. I'm in like my baking mood. So I want to run into Trader Joe's to grab the rest of the ingredients for that. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to go pick up a coffee and maybe like a small little lunch. It's like almost 12 and I still haven't eaten yet. I swear I eat so late these days. My body's just like so used to it. And then afterwards, I think I want to head to Home Goods so we can go together and see what's new there. Yeah, so that is the little update for today. It's a beautiful day. It's honestly a little hot in this little long sleeve. It is becoming so hot in California now. But anyways, oh, I want to show you guys the clip that I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can see here. I'll just take it off so you guys can see it. It's so, so cute. Let's see if it'll focus. Okay, there we go. Look how stunning the little details are. And on top, it has also some rhinestones in the back. Also has the same thing. It has like little flowers and little butterflies and it's the most like cute little dainty clip ever this clip is from emmy j i ordered from them the other week and i've seen everyone and their mothers have little emmy j claw clips it's a little pricey for a claw clip but they're supposedly good quality they feel good quality but i'm i'm saying supposedly because let's see how long it lasts if the jewels fall off or anything like that but i will update you guys i also got another one of her clips her big effing clip um i was a little disappointed about that one because she says it's like a big effing clip, but in my opinion, I don't even have too, too much like thick, thick hair. I will say I have thick hair, but I feel like there's some girls out there who have super thick hair and it didn't really hold up my hair like completely. This is her sweetheart clip, so it's supposed to be like a half up, half down moment, but her big effing clip is supposed to be like your entire head of hair like thrown up and it was kind of falling down a little bit and my anthropology clips are way bigger. Um, so I was a little disappointed in that, but it's still super cute and I'll show you guys that when I get home it, I got like a pink color So yeah, just a little note there that if you are interested in her big claw clips and you have a lot of hair It probably won't fit your head of your whole head of hair. I also want to get her bride one that says bride and little um, Crystals, but it was out of stock when I made this order. So I'll definitely get that in the future guys can see me that's what happens when it's super sunny out the lighting is always a little 
a little weird, but I just grabbed some coffee. I got a grande iced caramel macchiato with light ice, extra caramel drizzle, and they definitely delivered on the extra caramel. I haven't gone a uh, caramel macchiato in literally years I did them all the time like a couple years ago but i just stopped because i found my other favorite drink but i was like you know what i am like kind of craving um this specific drink especially with extra caramel it's what i used to get all the time so it's really really good especially with that extra caramel wow that is so good got my coffee and for lunch i just got a little breakfast sandwich this is the bacon gouda it's just a tiny little breakfast sandwich it has bacon egg and cheese if you guys can see that let's take the first bite together mm. Mm -hmm. the bread is like so chewy and fluffy the egg is so fluffy and the bacon is just like who doesn't love bacon so i'm going to enjoy this right now in the car and eat my lunch and then we will head over to home goods it's so silent in this home goods right now but i really want to get a new mirror for the living room see if they have anything today this one's really pretty this one gives me the anthropology vibes i really like this one but it's kind of like a wood finish and i'm looking for like a matte black finish they also have some over here for charlie i'm debating between this one and this one they're both the same price but they both give off different vibes is this one a little too shaggy and like raggedy this one right here is super similar to what she has now so i feel like she'll like it and she can like dig her head here in the corners which she loves doing it's super soft and i just feel like hers right now is getting a little old and crusty now what do you guys think i wish you guys would tell me in the comments which one you guys think i should get like this one's really cute, but I feel like it's gonna get all gross in like just a couple months. Okay guys, I am back home. Sorry if you hear the washer and dryer. I just put a load in, but I need to put these things in the fridge pretty quickly because I honestly went to Trader Joe's a little while ago and I was running around. So let me give you guys a really quick haul what I've got. I got some eggs and then I got my favorite drink, the mango 100% juice smoothie. This is so, so good. I love to get that once in a while from Trader Joe's. And then I also got some pasta. This is fu Fusili. I hardly see this at Trader Joe's, so when I saw it, I just picked it up. It's always good to have things like this in the pantry. What you guys saw what I went in there mainly for was to make some cookies today. Hopefully, I get it done today, but I got some unsalted butter for the cookies. And then I also got some... Oh, good thing they're not, they're not that melted, I can tell. I think because there's a lot of cold things down there. I got some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I do prefer the Ghirardelli ones. I feel like those are better quality, but I have heard... The Trader Joe's ones are pretty good, so I'm excited to try these. The last two things I got are super random. I noticed the other day we needed some garlic powder. We're out of this, so I picked up a garlic powder. And then this was because I was hungry when I went to Trader Joe's, but you should never shop hungry. But I'm glad I didn't overbuy. This was the only thing that was like a fun thing that I got. I saw these garlic sauce noodles. I don't know, let me know if you guys have tried this. It looks pretty good. It has garlic sauce Thai noodles and it looks like kind of like thick, thick udon noodles, if that can focus. Yeah, so I don't know, I was hungry and this was right by the chocolate chips. So I was like, that looks so good. So I picked this up for like an easy lunch if I wanna microwave it. So that is everything that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna quickly put this away and I'll show you guys what I end up getting at Home Goods. I did end up getting the bed, but I just put Charlie in it right now, so I'll show you guys in a second. But I got two other things from Home Goods. 
The first thing that I got were these cups. These are Moscow Mule Cups right here. They come in a set of two, which is perfect. We're like really into making our own Moscow Mules at home. It's so easy with ginger beer, a little bit of vodka, pineapple juice. We love putting pineapple juice in it to make it a pineapple Moscow Mule. It's so good. And we've been eating the actual like copper mugs. And the other day I went to Target, they didn't have any. So Home Goods always comes through with things like this. So these two were... $14.99, which is a pretty good price. They seem pretty good quality. So I was really happy to find these. And then the second thing that I got were a little snack item. Um, I never get the little like food and snacks they have at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Sometimes I just feel like it's kind of old. Maybe it's been sitting there for a while. But today I was drawn to these and I checked the expiration date. It doesn't expire for another like two years. So these are little wafer cookies cappuccino flavored yum i mainly got these for my fiance because he loves little wafer cookies like this and he loves coffee he likes coffee even more than me which says a lot so i thought he would love this flavor and they just sounded really good and they're super cheap so just a fun little snack to have like in the morning with your coffee and stuff let me show you guys her bed also we have charlie right here she's so cute she missed me so much when i was out but let me show you guys the bed I got her. So I ended up picking up the gray one instead of the brown one. And right here, I have her old one out that has her little blankie in it. And I just realized that, she, I guess when I was in home goods, I didn't realize how long her legs were. This one is a little bit too small for her. I wanna see if she can come in here to show you guys. Come here, see? <laughs> yeah, you guys can tell. She likes it, but it's a little too small for her. It's like her little booty's hanging out right now, but she's so cute and she really does love it, but I think she won't be too comfortable in it. Okay, don't make a mess. I have to exchange this, but yeah, I'm gonna return this or maybe exchange it for a bigger one. And then let me show you her going into this one. Come here. This is more her size. This one, I just didn't realize that this is probably for like a chihuahua or like a toy poodle, like a very small dog. She loves it. That's her old one and this is her new one, but I just feel like it's a little too small. Oh, let's see if she goes to her old one. Yep, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right now, I think I'm going to catch up on some emails and do some wedding things and I'll see if I make the cookies later on today or tomorrow, we'll see. gonna start on the cookies now i'm really really excited sorry once again the laundry is now in the washer so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty well but i have all my ingredients right here i have the butter that we just got um all my little cooking ingredients i have my two bowls right here right here is brown sugar we have some salt some regular sugar which i actually was supposed to get sugar at trader joe's but they didn't have any like normal sugar. They only had cane sugar. So I think that'll be enough because the recipe mainly calls for brown sugar. I have some baking soda and then of course flour and some vanilla extract. And I obviously have the chocolate chips, but they are in the fridge still. So the first part of the recipe, I'm using this random one I found off line i'll link it down below for you guys if you guys are interested in making these ones and if they turn out good but the first step is to brown some butter you're supposed to brown a three-fourths cup of unsalted butter and this is my first time browning butter i've seen a ton of people brown butter before like on cooking shows and stuff like that but i personally have not done so yet so wish me luck I finished browning the butter and I feel like it was actually pretty successful for my very first time. Here, I'll show you guys. This is like the consistency that it's supposed to be light brown and they said that it's also supposed to smell like kind of nutty and it kind of smells like toffee, which is kind of nutty. So I think I actually did a pretty good job um, browning the butter. So now we're gonna incorporate all the sugar and the egg yolks and stuff. So let's do that together. Thank you. 
now the best part let's add in some chocolate chips this is what the dough is looking like it smells really good i did have this amount of flour left because the recipe said that if it starts to look a little too dry then just completely leave it out so i'm following that and hopefully it's okay it says to add one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips so let's do that i think i want um just one cup of chocolate chips instead of one and one half cups yeah that seems like plenty so let's fold this into the dough it smells so good i wish you guys could smell it through the screen a lot of work homemade cookies when you can just easily buy the nestle or the pillsbury one that honestly tastes super good but it's worth it at the end and hopefully they taste even better than the pre-made ones i'm sitting here and i'm like debating whether or not to return the little bed because I don't know she seems to really like it also i'm still in the middle of doing laundry why does laundry actually take 600 years to do but anyways i just finished the cookies i'll show you guys later because you have to put them in the fridge anyways to let it um cool and kind of like harden um the recipe recommends overnight or at least a couple of hours so that's what i'm gonna do maybe tonight i will make them when i come back for like a little late night sweet treat or tomorrow i will show you guys the finished product of the cookies but they turn out really well so far the dough so fingers crossed that they turn out really good so that is the update i also put on some lipstick this one is from charlotte tilbury and i think it's called super model it's like a more darker pink color and I really like it. Hi guys, I am back home and I actually did not go to Home Goods. I think I'll do that tomorrow, but I'm back from dinner and let's make some cookies. It's a little later now at night, but why not have like a cookie to have a little late night sweet treat? So this is what the chilled cookie dough looks like after I want to say like three or four hours so i'm gonna use a spoon to kind of help me put it on this is a non-stick pan so i feel like it's not going to stick to the thing i think i'm just gonna put some butter on it just in case i really don't want it to stick because i don't have i don't have any parchment paper so I think let's just put on some butter like on the on the thing like this. I'm just spreading it on like that. Let's put some cookie dough. Ooh, it's very hard. Is it supposed to be this hard? Ooh. That's interesting. Okay. I don't know, guys. Hopefully these cookies turn out well, but they're really, really kind of hard. So this right now, oh my gosh, does this one only have like one chocolate chip? I'm crying. Okay. Anyways, let's spread this out and see how it goes, see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. 